Yo, what's up guys, it's Shujinky Dink here. And this video is all about Quan Chi Summoner. That's right guys, I have been working on this for a long time. This is my complete guide to the Summoner Quan Chi character. As you can see, there is no face cam because this is not about me, this is about Quan Chi. So, that getting said, let's go into the details about Mr. Quan Chi our bald pale sorcerer. So, if you're just picking up the game, you play it through the story mode and you're like, oh man, Quan Chi is my favorite character in the story mode, he gets his nut crunched, he gets his head cut off, nothing goes his way, he's so cool, I want to main him, then let's talk about it. What's a Quan Chi? Quan is the best offensive character in this game. And by offense, I'm not talking strictly pressure because that, unfortunately, goes to Tanya. Offense, I mean as far as attacking combo damage his pressure is very good uh, his mix-ups are very good one thing that he's lacking in is defense so if you don't mind getting kinda nailed down in the corner if someone gets their offense going and being patient and looking for a way out um, unfortunately his tools are limited I'll talk about that a little bit later um, then this is a great character for you you love doing flashy combos you have good execution you know you can make combos up on the fly he has so many different opportunities so that's um that's what he's about. He's an offensive character. He's all about attacking. Um so going forward, the one thing that makes this variation so good is his bat. So let's talk about Jade. I have named my bat Jade because she's the only character in this game who's not even referenced really in the story mode or anything other than maybe Shiva, I think. But um so I like to think that, you know, she's kind of hanging out with Quan. Quan turned her into a little demon bat, and now she's just hanging out, and he controls her. She does whatever he wants her to do. Um, I recommend naming your bat, because you're going to be seeing a lot of him. Or him. I know Israfel, my buddy, has named his bat uh, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce the Bat. So just name it, you know, be, be comfortable. It kind of builds that bond a little bit. Sounds kind of stupid, but, you know, if you're going to main this character and play him at the highest level, then... You should name your bat. You become one with the character, one with the bat. So using the bat effectively, the bat has a lot of different uses. Um, one of the main uses that I like to use them for is uh, meter management. So for example, you can do combos that you wouldn't usually be doing um, with no meter. So for example, we take this combo right here. Thirty-five percent, one bar. Now we can do a similar combo if we have the bat out. Well, I dropped it there. That sucks. Um, but that that combo does forty-one percent, and it costs no meter. It's a little bit trickier to hit, but it keeps it safe. You don't have to use the uh, the bar for the ex rune. Um, as you would normally. So you get to save a bar, you get more damage, you get the same amount of of corner carry and stuff as you would with the regular one, and you've saved a bar a meter. The same thing can be done in the corner. Um, usually, you could generally, oh, I should have reset it to corner, but I don't really know what I'm doing apparently. Normally, you do this one, and that's how you start your combo. But um, now. Bat out, you can attack your regular skull and then bat and then start your combo. So that saves your bar. You still get the overhead mix up, you still get the low mix up. You can start your combos that way and still get really good damage up to about 50% with no meter. Um, and save your bar for defense for breakers uh, because if someone's really, really pressuring you, sometimes the only option is to get hit and break. So you want to make sure that you have meter available for that. Um, as well, Quan does have one armored move in this variation, which is the Sky Drop. This is not a get out of pressure tool. You will get hit out of it and lose a bar meter. You can also get hit on the way down. Usually I use this move to, as a uh, anti-air of sorts, kind of. A reverse anti-air. I will jump at somebody, they will try to anti-air me, and the armor from that will hit the anti-air, and then it will hit them on the recovery. So that's really the only way that I've found to successfully use that every time. Um, uh, the next thing about the bat is she keeps you safe. 
So if you do a move, let's set here to or set him to block always. So this move, for example, not that one, this one. Having controller issues, it seems. That's minus 14, but if you see they block it, you can send the bat low, and that keeps you safe. Even go into another string if you want. And that goes the same with that combo starter I was going earlier. So this is usually minus nine. So if they block that, you can do the up bat. And if it hits, it will combo. If it doesn't, it keeps you safe. So you can do a throw for guaranteed damage if they're still blocking. Or you can do a low, you can do it on the mix up. Use the bat to keep all your strings safe. Now the low bat also offers more mix-ups. So, you could do something like that, which is an overhead low, super fast. I think I'm having troubles with my back button. I'm not sure if it's acting properly, but um, yeah. And like I said, mentioned earlier, it opens the window for more combo opportunities because you can do combos that you regularly wouldn't be able to do. Let's take them off. I'll see if I can execute one to show you. So there's that one there that would not have been possible without the bat to keep the to the carry going. Um, so things like that. One of the main things you want to use against most characters, not all characters, because characters with teleports are kind of a pain, but um, is zoning. One is one of the best zoning in the game. Um, one thing I like to use the bat for a lot is just kind of building meter at full screen. If I have them away, if I have the bat out, they have to respect that the bat might come out. So you can do runes, 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 you know. And they're blocking it, you're building the meter, they'll build the meter, they have to respect it because the bat's out. And then just before the bat actually runs out and goes away, you can throw it out. And then you're still safe. And you build meter from the you build meter from the bat. I'll see if I can show you here. Build meter from the bat being blocked as well. So we'll always, and we'll change the super meter to normal. So let's see. So blah, 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 block. So I almost built a bar meter just by doing runes. Also, a uh, EX rune is a great opportunity to take to um, load another bat. So, if they do block mode stance, for example, so there's a full screen zoning combo right there. If you have the bat out for 25%, uh, if you don't have a bat out, and you hit them with the EX rune. Usually, you can do EX rune. I have to build my meter back. EX rune into EX rune. I'm just going to build some meter here real quick so I can show you what I'm trying to do. Um, but you can do EX rune and use that advantage to get your bat out. And then start your zoning all over again. Start building your meter, start getting back into it. Um, now, if you decide that you don't want to zone anymore and you want to get in for free, you can use the bat to do that as well. So you can just launch fireball. And run. Or you can just send the bat low, run in, combo off it if the low hits them. The nice thing about the bat fireball is if uh, if they hit you, as long as the fireball is on the screen, the fireball won't go away. Usually if someone hits you, the bat will go away, but as long as the bat has launched the fireball, the fireball does, ne does not go away. So that is definitely a good thing to make note of. Um, that's pretty much it for zoning. I did uh, a couple of videos about zoning back before on my YouTube channel, so you can go out and uh, check that out if you want to see a little bit more of how to zone. I got one with a skull and, and using the bat and stuff like that. So 
Um, I'll go back to mid-screen. So, um, Plant has two reset options that guarantee you mix-ups. Uh, one is the down three, and one is the four, two, one. So, if you want to go for a mix-up, start your combo. Call your bat out. Down three. Down three out of the trance. Gets you either the back three, two, four, or free overhead. Now, using the 4 2 1 is a little bit trickier mid screen. It's more of a mind game than an actual um, reset. Because if you do, let's do a combo. My low option is gone. My low option does not hit. I would have to run up to do it. And most people just backdash. So, um, mid screen, I recommend doing the down 3 because that will get you both options. The reason that you would use the 4 2 1 is as a mind game, because if they're not expecting it, actually, usually they're expecting it, there's a string like that, but you don't actually finish the string, you actually just do the 4 2 1, then you can kind of walk forward and do the low, but the overhead's only the, the real thing that's guaranteed there, so. So if I use this, I get 19%, 20%. So 20% plus 32%, that's 52% with one bar uh, with that little reset going in. So definitely a good option to use. And then they're in the corner. So which leads into my next category, which is the overall game plan. Juan's overall game plan is to get your opponent to the corner. In the corner, he has dirty, 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 dirty combos. Like, ridiculously dirty. Um, I'm not gonna turn this into a combo video. I'll show you a couple of them that I like to use. Um, but, you know, I'll do a combo video later on. So, basically, when you get him into the corner, you can start a combo. If I don't have the bat out, I usually go for a reset. So, now I get the bat. Then I get my damage. 56% into a hard to blockable. Into more damage, you see, you kind of get the idea. So this is off the low option. 54% one bar. So you usually want to save your meter for um, for the combos in the corner or um, or defense. So that's why the bat comes in handy because it allows you to do meterless damage without spending your meter. Which makes sense. I don't know why I reiterated that twice, but this isn't a max damage one, but. I'll show you the kind of damage you can get with no meter. Uh, 41% and I dropped it. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna edit this is all. This is just going forward. This is all classic thing. So yeah, 47% no meter with a bat. So yeah, if you don't have the bat out, do your combo, but do not finish it. Keep them standing and go for a reset. Then it's up to them to guess, and then you can get your damage. So you can get 27% before the reset. You have meter use it. So that's pretty much like 90% right there. Look at how a little healthy is left. Um, yeah, so that's what usually what I do. Get your combos down, get them in the corner, and you're good to go. Um, once you do your big combo, the combo should always end in 141 because 141 guarantees you a bat load and then you can go into the hard to blockable then you can jump on vortex which I'm going to talk about next now it's important to note that you don't get the neutral jump punch vortex for free off of this combo they do have the option to wake up but at this point, you have the bat out. So you can break armor real quick with two hits like that. 